Hey guys, this is Nick from PC Hacker 11 here, and in this video I'm just going to be demonstrating a little application or web browser here called Minefield. Now, what Minefield is basically is it is a web browser which is a beta build of Firefox. Now, if we look over here, it's apparently Firefox version 7 version 3.7 so it's basically a test or a beta build of the next version of Firefox now minefield has been out for a long time now uh, it's been out for about a couple months as a test of Firefox and so uh, I haven't really done a review of it on this channel and so I thought I would do a review of it so this is just gonna be my review of the beta build of minefield which is the uh, beta of Firefox version 3.7. So anyway, when you this is the installer. This is Minefield. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you where to download it. And uh, if you guys are wondering why I'm in Windows XP at the moment, it's because I'm doing this inside of a virtual machine because I don't want Minefield installed on my computer for some reason because uh, I'm just happy with running Firefox and not a beta on my computer normally. So anyway, um, Again, I'm going to keep the current color scheme. Uh, and so now I'm going to show you where to download Minefield. So you download Minefield from this website w right here, which I'll post in the video's description. And it'll look like this. It'll have all these different links that you can click down here. Now, uh, if you want to download Minefield for Windows, go down here and download Firefox version 3.7 alpre.en US installer.exe. Make sure it's the one that has installer.exe at the end. Now uh, there's a bunch of other ones but if you want to download it for Windows it's this one right here. So yeah that's where you download it for Windows. I'll put the link to that in the video description. So anyway once you start up Minefield it'll look like this. Now as you notice it looks a lot like Firefox. Well, that's because, as I said before, it is a beta build of the next version of Firefox, aka version 3.7. So, when you start it up, it'll come out to this page which says, Thank you for using a pre release version of Firefox. So, it just says right there that this is a pre release version. So, I'm going to click on the X. And then we have the standard Welcome to Minefield page, which uh, basically just says, Welcome to Minefield. So,. Anyway, the Minefield start page is basically the welcome to Minefield page. So anyway, now uh, this is what it looks like normally. Now, it looks a lot like Firefox. It has most of the same features as Firefox. But uh, what I like is that it is um, fairly fast. It's a lot faster than the normal Firefox. So I'm going to see how long it takes up to load up Google. So Google.com. And so it loads up really fast now. I don't know why it brought me up to this page. Uh, I think it's because it's a weird virtual machine. But as you notice, it loaded up really quickly. So uh, now it loaded up a lot quickly, but that's just because Google's a low site. Let, let's check out a website that has a lot of pictures on it. So let's go to msn.com. See how long it takes Minefield to load that up. As you can see, it loads up really fast right there. It loaded up. 10 times faster than Firefox would uh, on my normal computer and the best part about this is it's in a virtual machine too so it's running really fast for running in a virtual machine so that's really good so uh, that's really fast so uh, let's compare times on that I'm gonna go ahead and open Firefox up here in Vista and see what happens just wait for it to load as you can see Firefox and Vista is actually taking a little longer but uh here we go. So let's see how long it takes my Vista Firefox to load up MSN. So MSN.com. Now, as you can see, that wasn't quite as fast as Minefield. And this is running off my normal computer. And this is actually running inside of a virtual machine. So uh, go figure. So anyway, Minefield is completely faster than the old version of Firefox. Uh, I think seeing how fast it is now I might actually install it on my uh, main computer and keep it out of the virtual machine for a moment but anyway uh, I don't really want to spend too much time going over the features of it because uh, it's basically just like Firefox version 3.5 except it's uh, got a better speed boost and 
better increase in performance. So anyway, that's just been my quick little review of Mozilla's Minefield. If you want to download it, you can download it from here. Just make sure you download the one that says Windows Installer.exe. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is just been a quick video demonstrating minefield if you guys already knew about minefield then I'm sorry guys if you didn't then I hope you check it out so anyway thanks for watching and I'll see ya